The Crazy Pizza Tablet by Tavi and M. Ryan Taylor. Chapter 2 Mom and Dad. On the way home from school, David thought about the dream and wondered, What does it all mean? How can people have the same dream? What about all that ice? Where in the heck is Belsa? Why did the people have those weird green eyes? He looked up from watching his feet on the sidewalk and found himself walking through a snowy, ice-covered landscape. The landscape of his dream. David, David, his mom said. David looked up from where he was sitting on the couch. When did you get home? His mom continued. Um, I don't know. David realized that he didn't remember getting home or plopping down on the couch. I think I've been sleepwalking, he said slowly. You're a phony guy, Mom said. You need to do your homework. Now. <laughs> David sighed and grabbed his bag to take to his room. He plopped on the bed and pulled out his math worksheet. Dinner time! His mom's voice rang down the hallway. How can it be dinner time? I just sat down to do my math. I only finished one problem. David thought as he jumped up to look at the clock. It read 5.17 p.m. What? How did I lose two hours? <laughs> David ran into the kitchen to find his mom and dad already sitting at the table. He slowed down and sat carefully, looking intensely at his parents. But everything seemed normal. He began to push his food around his plate while wondering about the weird stuff that had seemed to be happening that seemed to be happening to him and his friends. How was your day? His dad said, fine. Come on, his dad prompted. You've got to tell me something about your day. Okay, David thought for a second. Well, we were talking about dreams at lunch today. Is it common for people to have the same dreams as each other? Like, what do you mean? His mom said, Em and Nephi and Sam had... All had similar dreams to one I had, and I keep thinking about it. Well, Dad cut in, I think people often dream about similar things. I mean, everybody has common fears, and sometimes those fears turn up as nightmares. But what if the dreams are really specific? David asked. I don't know, Dad says. Me either, Mom says. What kind of specifics are we talking about? We all dreamed about this place called Belsa. I think it might be in Africa. Where is Belsa? asked his dad. I think it might be in Africa. His mind chimed in. No, I don't think so. It looked really cold there, said David. Well, I wouldn't worry about it, said Dad. The world is full of strange things. It was something you all studied in geography and are just having trouble piecing it all together. Or, Mom said, you could just be watching too much sci-fi. <laughs> And that was that. From there, the traffic sifted to his dad's work and his mom's walking group. Dad looked down at, I mean, David looked down at his plate and was surprised to see that he pushed, he had pushed, he'd pushed all his food around to form the word, help! Later, after watching an old episode of Star Trek with his dad and reading books with both his parents, it was time for bed. David was nervous about going to sleep, but he continued to have these weird dreams.